Okay, so today I want to talk to you about how to use the microphones with the studio cameras, like I'm using it right now. First of all, a couple things you need to know about these Shure microphones, that's the brand name that they are, is that they're made in, cert in such a way that they work really close to your mouth. The further you pull it away, even though I'm not changing my voice, the less it will be, okay? Especially if I was to hold it way down here, you're not going to hear me at all. So I've got to get this microphone up near my lips. Now, you don't want to touch it, but you want to get it pretty close. Okay, so when you're um, reporting the news, you're going to use like a normal regular news reporter used to do it with a wired microphone, and that is just like this. About this distance from your lips is what you need. And now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect it and how to make those adjustments so you get this good, clean quality of audio in your recording. All right, so I'm just filming this on my iPhone to give you an example of why you can't use a built-in microphone on any camera. Uh, the audio, you hear the echo of the room, you hear the air conditioner running over there. It just makes for really bad audio. So let's continue on with our lesson here. So I have the XLR microphone cable and I have the microphone that we need to use. So if they are disconnected, just go ahead and plug them in so that they work. There is a little pin on the top of it that you just have to kind of line up the pins on the inside and then you push it until it clicks. It hasn't clicked yet, so see, it'll still come apart. You gotta push it, there, now it clicked, now it won't come apart, okay? Uh, make sure the microphone is turned on right here. It has an on-off switch. There might be tape over it. It's taped in the on position, so just leave it. And then I plug this into the camera and I plug it into the microphone or input number one, okay? We're gonna be doing everything in input number one. Same thing, you just line up the pins, push it in until it clicks, and then it shouldn't come out. To be able to remove it, you need to press down on this little release, and then you can get, there we go, now it's clicked in. Same thing here, just press, uh, I mean, this way I'm pressing up on this little release, and then I'm able to pull that connector out there. So they are locked together, so don't fight them, but, and also make sure you really gotta kinda push to make sure they lock together. Push always with the connector ends, never with the cable, okay? So there we go, we're locked in, and now we're on microphone number one. Okay, taking a look at the other side of the camera. Let me just loosen this here, down here. Okay, sorry, loosen it there. Okay, so let's spin this around and let's take a really good look here. Let me get close here. So, here are your controls. And let me put my glasses on so I can really see what's going on. It should be set in a way that it's on, uh, channel one up there should be on M. We want it on manual control, okay? And since uh, we're looking at channel one or input one, that's what we want. It should be this switch here should be on mic, M-I-C, and then this gain control should be about, the middle should line up with that, maybe right there. And now let's take a look at what that looks like on the levels. So when I open this up and turn it on, okay, let me just tilt that up so you can see that. Okay, so there's my hand in front of it. And what we see once it gets on the little menu here. Okay, so we can see the levels down there. Okay, that's me talking right there into input number one, and that looks about right. You want those, let those to bounce really close to the end. You don't want it going over the top because that's when it's gonna do clipping and the audio sounds too loud and it sounds like a monster talking on there. It gets, it's horrible. And you, want, you don't want it too low, otherwise you can't hear what's going on. So uh, this is where you want it bouncing in there. Now, if you're someone who speaks softly, okay, so if I'm gonna just talk softly, I'm gonna turn up the gain towards the um, maximum here. So I'm gonna turn up the gain a little bit, gain a little bit. Okay, so now, even though I'm talking softly, I'm still getting really good bouncing in here. It's bouncing near the end, okay? And then I can talk softly because I've turned up the gain. But if you're like normal and you're talking normal, you might wanna turn that down just so when you bring it into iMovie later on, you get nice waveforms that are bouncing nice and high, and you got lots of audio to work with that's nice and clean, not like the garbage one that's being recorded right now by my iPhone, okay? But anyhow, that's how to adjust those microphones. Watch it 100 times if you need to, but that's how you make all those connections work. Okay, so I'm back now on the good microphone, and doesn't it sound good? Okay, I wanted to kind of let you know what clipping sounds like, so... Um, right now it's bouncing up and down. I can see the meter in the little monitor that's right over here on this side right here. But let me go ahead and adjust the gain so it maxes out here. Okay, so now this is me maxed out. Way too much gain on there and now it sounds horrible. And now I'm turning the gain back down to the middle and that's about right. If you turn the gain down way too low, then you won't be able to hear me. And 
there we go. So that's the uh, proper way to use a microphone with the studio cameras. Okay, so you plug it in, you adjust the controls, you make sure that all the settings are the same on the side, and you're good to go. Have fun.